Good morning, grade 7 students. This is Ms. Mooney. Today we're going to continue our second chapter, Ecosystems and Biomes, Lesson 5, Aquatic Ecosystems. So please open your books to page 70. The objectives of the lesson today is to identify what is meant by the aquatic ecosystem and also we're going to explain the two major types of the aquatic ecosystems. What is the aquatic ecosystem? Since almost three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered with water, many living things make their homes in and near the water. There are two types of aquatic ecosystems, the freshwater ecosystem and the marine or saltwater ecosystem. All aquatic ecosystems are affected by the same abiotic factors, sunlight, oxygen, and salt content. The first type of the aquatic ecosystem is called the freshwater ecosystem. Even though most of the Earth's surface is covered with water, only a small fraction is freshwater. Freshwater ecosystems include streams, rivers, ponds, and lakes. Freshwater ecosystems provide habitats for an amazing variety of organisms. The first types of freshwater ecosystems are streams and rivers. The stream begins where the cold, clear water flows rapidly. Animals that live there are adapted to strong current. As the stream flows along, other streams join it. The current slows down and the water becomes cloudy with soil. The larger stream is now called a river. Different organisms are adapted to live in a river. Another type of freshwater ecosystems are ponds and lakes. Ponds and lakes are bodies of standing or still fresh water. Lakes are generally larger and deeper than ponds. Ponds are often shallow enough that sunlight can reach bottom, the bottom even in the center of the pond, allowing the plants to grow there. You can see in the picture, uh, there's a picture of a lake versus a picture of a pond. As you can see, the pond is shallow and the lake is deep. The pond is smaller and the lake is bigger. The second part of the aquatic ecosystem is called the marine ecosystem. The marine ecosystem or the saltwater ecosystem is known as the sea or the ocean. The first part is called the estuary. This is the place where the fresh water of a river meets the salt water of the ocean. Many animals use the calm waters of estuaries for breeding grounds. As you can see in the figure, the estuary is the meeting point between the river and the ocean. The second zone of the marine ecosystem is called the intertidal zone. Along the rocky shoreline between the highest high tide line and the lowest low tide line is the intertidal zone. Organisms to live here must be able to survive pounding waves and sudden changes in water temperature. Then we have the neuritic zone. Below the low tide line is a region of shallow water called the neuritic zone, which extends over the continental shelf. Because the sunlight passes through the shallow water of the neuritic zone, photosynthesis can occur, making this zone rich in living things. In warm ocean waters, coral reefs may form. Coral reefs provide living homes to a wide variety of other organisms. As you can see in the picture, it's a picture of a coral reef that includes thousands and millions of fish and other sea organisms. Finally is the open ocean. Out in the open ocean, light penetrates only to a few depths of a few hundred meters, which is known as the surface zone. Below it is the deep zone, which is totally dark. Most animals in this zone feed on the remains of the organisms that sink down from the surface zone. This figure shows a model of the aquatic or the marine ecosystem or the saltwater ecosystem. It shows us the intertidal zone, the neuritic zone, the continental shelf, and the open ocean. As you can see in the open ocean, it is divided into two parts. The first part is the surface zone, which is up to 200 meters, and from 200 meters deep down is called the deep zone. As a conclusion, an aquatic ecosystem is an ecosystem in a body of water. Communities of organisms that are dependent on each other and on their environment live in an aquatic ecosystem. The two main types of aquatic ecosystems are marine ecosystems and freshwater ecosystems. As an assignment for next time, please study pages 70 to 73 from the book and copy the notes on your copybook. Study figure 23, page 72, and homework the assessment exercise, page 73. Also, check the slides below to highlight the required information on your books. Thank you.